Eve Arden was born Eunice Mary Quidens on April 30, 1908, although some sources say 1904. Over a six-decade career, Arden made a name for herself in nearly every performing outlet available to her. In a later interview, Arden claimed to have earned her first role at the age of seven in a performance sponsored by the Outdoor Art Club of Mill Valley, California. She worked up and down the California coast as part of a four-member troupe playing in hotel lobbies. Arden's professional acting career began being chronicled in the acting trade publications by 1928, where advertisements show her appearing under her birth name of Quidens in Mr. Henry Duffy at a Hollywood theater. By 1929, Arden, still known as Eunice Quidens, was appearing in motion pictures, including Song of Love. Other early stage shows include Desperate Sam in 1932 and Lo and Behold in 1933. Sometime in the 1930s, Eunice Quidens decided a name change was in order and combined two names from some cosmetic bottles, and Eve Arden was christened. A complete list of her professional productions from stage to radio to television would fill a small volume. Her television highlights include Our Miss Brooks and The Eve Arden Show in the 1950s and don't end until a Falcon Crest role in 1987. Arden's dozens of film roles are highlighted by an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress in 1945's Mildred Pierce. After a number of one-off radio appearances in the mid-1930s to early 1940s, Arden was cast in her first regular role on The Danny Kay Show from 1945 to 1946. Now, this led to a run on the Seal Test Village store, followed by her career-defining role as schoolteacher Connie Brooks on Our Miss Brooks. Eve Arden was married twice— to Edgar Bergen from 1939 to 1947, and later to Brooks West from 1952 until 1984. Arden had four children, three of whom were adopted, and a fourth with West. With two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and a spot in the National Radio Hall of Fame, Arden's professional accomplishments are widely recognized. She died on November 12, 1990, just three years after her final television performance.